watch Heatwave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Um, This week, I don't really have a topic, so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to ask <clears throat> people, how's life going, guys? Chaos. This is chaos, How's, how's it going? <laughs> That's not true. You wanted to talk about something specific. Um, Yeah. Specifically about me, though. Okay. Well, oh, so off. is this a question? I would like to hear about you. Okay. Is this? Is Jerry? You, you, you cut just, out. Yeah, you cut out for a second. Oh, sorry. sorry. Is this you asking a question so that you can talk about yourself? That's some pro Hi. strats. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of asking questions, how can I talk about me? <laughs> so I just um, I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and I don't know if it's a bad idea or not because I already have way too many hobbies. But I'm thinking of starting uh, doing like custom painting on consoles and controllers. Um, mainly because we already have a shit ton laying around. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Michelle told me today about an eBay deal that she almost bought, but she didn't because she knew that I would just freak out. It was 120 Dreamcasts, broken Dreamcasts, <laughs> for $120 on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> A oh, dollar no. a Dreamcast. Yes. Yeah, a I almost a bought. I, they uh, all were broken, but <laughs> like they were like all. Most of them were like cosmetically fine, but they were just like little like issues for each one. So I was like, oh, okay, I could I could turn this around. Blah blah blah. That's what I thought. But <laughs> I also was like, by the way, this is when we lived with Hutch. Mm, oh, I would have. Yeah, <laughs> I would have just lost it. I was like, where am I going to store these 120 Dreamcasts? <laughs> when am I going to find time to fix Jesus 120 Christ. Dreamcasts? <laughs> and but yeah. you know, the answer is you weren't going to. <laughs> yeah, I, that was part of the problem. So I like, I just could not. Like, you yeah, were briefly it. living in a fictional realm where you had the time, energy, and understanding to repair a hundred Dreamcasts. <laughs> yes. And then so what I'm, would you do with them? <clears throat> I was going to sell them on eBay. I was going to like they oh, sell for like thirty dollars a pop. Turn a profit, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to turn some money. <laughs> okay. We were living. Uh, we were both unemployed, <laughs> and we lived with a friend. And I, yeah, I was. Tr I was like, okay, what stupid shit can I do? <laughs> Plus, well, it would have made an interesting YouTube video. You could have would, doubled yeah, that. Yeah. Comp, that uh, I was definitely yeah. doing that. The importance yeah. of reducing, reusing, and recycling content. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been eyeballing all the extra consoles and controllers we have laying around. Like, mm. what can I paint? <laughs> yeah, How so many of those do you think Michelle will let you paint, horse. Brittany? <laughs> well, there's some stuff that's hers. Oh, there's some stuff I'm just going to take. And yeah. Like, well, you we didn't know about it. Here you go. Here's your custom painted thing. Because <laughs> yeah, I just I need to practice. So um, I don't know. It's just something I'm messing around with. But funny thing about it is I'm looking on YouTube to see if there's any videos, uh, and there's not hardly any videos of custom paint jobs that's either like a aesthetically pleasing or or interesting. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. have so many views, and it's like what? And I don't know if I'll ever like film a video for it because that's just another extra thing that I thing probably do. don't need. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of so I started out. I saw this amazing like pastel in sixty four that was painted, and yeah. I kind of want to just paint it for myself. And then mm. um, we'll just see where it goes from there. But that's one thing that I've been <clears throat> dabbling in. So have you done research today. on this? Do you know uh, like how to approach painting a console? Yeah, so I started actually today, actually diving into the research. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it seems like people have different uh, ways of doing it. And uh, you definitely should like take the console or controller apart. I saw some mm. fucking noobs trying to spray paint it without taking it apart. And I'm like, that's going to make a huge mess. Oh, no. And yeah, also like um, kill the electronics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so you want to take it apart completely. You're going to want to sand it and you're going to want to prime it. And then there's a couple different techniques you can do. You can either um, like spray paint it with actual spray paint. Uh, I've seen some people use paint pens because they were actually drawing directly on the console. Mm. Uh, or you can airbrush it. And I haven't really... I've didn't have time to deep dive before the podcast started, but... Um, I, the videos I did watch, no one has put like a top layer on top to like protect it, make it shiny. Mm. And I definitely want to do that because 
I don't want to have like a weird mat thing that can scratch off. So yeah, you gotta have a top yeah. coat just to keep it secret. Like, yeah, like safe. A, a gloss. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely want that gloss. So especially with a controller because you're gonna be handling it a lot. Yeah. So my boss has a a Galaxy uh, GameCube controller. I might ask him to take a better look at it. Well, <laughs> that was actually made by professionals that do this called controlled chaos. I'm a professional. They're not sponsoring <laughs> this. <I'm just> <laughs> they're not, but they're bleep out their name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're super. They're super small. I ain't worried about. If they want to give us money, we'll say their name. <laughs> Do you know? Uh, just like five bucks. Money, it would be like here's a twenty. Can we send letters <laughs> out to different corporations and be like, if you pay us money, we'll say your name. We'll yeah. advertise you. Yeah, I, I like the idea that. of brand placement. As like a hostage situation. Oh, you for sure. Mm, yeah. Okay. We're going to bleep yeah. you out unless you give us $10. I'm super bummed that the guy who sent Google the invoices that Google just paid went to jail. Yeah. yeah because I feel like that Google is stupid. <laughs> yeah. That's and bad. Like fucking Sure, PO maybe management. that guy committed a crime, but also Google is stupid. <laughs> Like, how yes. is it his fault if they sit him money? <laughs> yeah. That's just I don't know. data. In- that's, that's I'm on like- that guy's side. Yeah. <laughs> Controversial topic right here. Fuck you, Google. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be thrilled to hear he's got a champion in jail. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I, I'm- the people. So, like, right at the start of the Iraq War, the U.S. government put a thing in place that was like. If a necessary part is going to an active war zone or like an active conflict area and it is under this one specific amount, I think it was like $200,000 or something, uh, nobody reviewed the invoice and it just got approved Mm -hmm. Uh, or it just got paid. So there was this one company that was like shipping boxes of bolts for one hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars mm-hmm. to uh-huh. those places, <laughs> and they made like billions of dollars, and I don't think they went to jail, yeah, no, yeah. so wow, sucks that's to suck, blowing my mind, yeah, right? How the yeah, fuck do you <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot of government bloat. Yeah, we should send the government. But with voice. a B, how do you lose billions of dollars <laughs> like that? Yeah. Somebody's like that. not paying attention. So this just confirms that nobody knows what they're doing. Everyone's just guessing. Yeah, even in like top-notch jobs where you're like, they know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. No. <laughs> Have you seen our president try to give a speech? <laughs> nobody knows what they're doing. <laughs> Have you yeah. seen Elon Musk try to interact with the world? Like, oh nobody knows what God. they're doing. Lately, oh, Jesus. Been... He he needs to just stop talking sometimes. <laughs> he really does. My favorite thing is the people have been retweeting his tweet that says, if science ever is an argument with myself, anything that I say, you should agree with science. And he, uh, I don't even people know what that just means. Been, oh, he's just been saying, like, he actually had a competent tweet and said, if I ever disagree with science, side with science, is what he said. Okay. And he's been saying Which is some counter to what he's shit. been saying recently. Yeah, everything he's been saying lately <laughs> has been bullshit. So that, he just people have been That's like, like the most hilarious like joke. giving giving yourself a get out of jail free card that I think I've ever heard. I no, know, I right? think it's whatever I, I, I think say next is maybe wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway. Like, I don't go. know, it just seems really weird to It it say feels that. like the equivalent of tweets that Trump made at Obama. Oh, that are yeah. now applicable to himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah, I've been seeing a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> They're always the there. Like, <laughs> the ones with like <laughs> Donald Trump saying shit that's applicable to him right now towards Obama. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I've been seeing a lot of those. Barkley, I, I think know. you should paint um, the consoles. Are you going to mm-hmm. airbrush or are you going to spray paint? Um, I'm thinking for starting off, probably just spray paint to see if I even like it. Yeah, I don't want to invest a bunch of money into it and then be like, "Oh, I hate this." I don't want because if do you this. if you airbrush it, you need to just like do Dreamcast consoles that have Myrtle Beach T-shirts on them. <laughs> That's what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do like I think the first thing I'm going to try is like gradients because they're the easiest. 
Um, so like Myrtle Beach airbrushing. I'm gonna do like palm trees and shit. It's gonna be very like aesthetic. Very aesthetic. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna get some of those sweet like um, it's like a little thing you clip onto the top of the spray bottle so that you don't have to kill your finger. It's more of like a trigger, a trigger that you yeah. pull. Uh, mm. Like a gun if you're an American, but like if you're not American, gun. it's more like if you you're just sp- got my attention. <laughs> if you're spraying like a Windex <laughs> bottle, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I'm thinking about trying like the the spray paint first, and then um, moving on from there if I like it. And the first ones I'm going to do are just going to be for me, um, and then we'll see what happens because I'm like always in my brain. I'm always like, how can I make money off of this? Like that's everything I do. I'm like, how can I make money off of this? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking capitalist. <laughs> Me and uh, Brittany have, like, not recently, but at one point we spent a lot of time looking into airbrushing, especially when you were working at Michael's and we looked yeah, at all Yeah, because I was shit. thinking about using my discount, which wasn't that great to begin with, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's what we're... But um, it's all we had. <laughs> that's what we were definitely looking into, and I'm still looking into it because I have interest in airbrushing, so... Yeah, and there's not a lot of tutorials. Well, I'll have to look up. There's probably more tutorials for just airbrushing in general mm-hmm. versus airbrushing consoles. Yeah. Um, but I was just really surprised in the gap <clears throat> in that uh, that market because it seems like I see some of these videos that aren't very good and they have like half a million views and I'm like, okay, that's weird. But yeah. well, whatever. They, they doubled down on a niche. Yeah. So that's... And Brittany's like, I can do that, but better. Yeah, I can do that better because, <laughs> you know. That's I'm conceited like that. <laughs> That's not true at all. I'm actually also super you can. insecure about everything I do. <laughs> I do things that I make all the time. Like I'll make a cross stitch for like the hundredth time, and then I'll be like, "This sucks. No one's gonna want this." And Michelle's like, "Shut your face hole and sell that." <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is when like she's just like, "This one stitch is the wrong color," and there's like, there's like. Like I don't know, eight to ten thousand stitches into this thing, but she goofed on a pixel, and I'm just like, no one's going to notice. Sell it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm very, I'm very critical of my own work. So I think yeah. I think that's all good artists, though. Yeah, well, probably. And also We're a bunch all. of bad artists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I like I I understand that. Like I. <laughs> Barkley, I feel like you are more discerning and then like, so when you make a thing and people are like, no, this is great. And you're like, oh, you're too fucking stupid to understand that I fucked up in this way. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is still not a good look because then I'm calling the person who says that it's good stupid. So, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you like this? Clearly you're a fucking idiot. I'm like, you just like it because you don't know any better. (laughs) Yeah, um, so. I always make a weird excuse for it. I always wiggle out of the compliment any way I can. So. <laughs> That's actually uh, my superpower. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, please don't compliment my art because it will, one, make me very uncomfortable and two, I'll have to avoid that compliment in some way. Exactly. It makes my hands sweaty. I just don't like it. <laughs> these weak hands sweaty. <laughs> so even though you didn't think that you could talk about this thing that you've been interested in for 15 minutes you started this off as like a maybe we'll talk about this and i knew exactly what you wanted to talk about but we're like at the end of this well, thing and you, you spent this whole time talking about this thank one you for thing. the guidance okay so we have about a minute left so let me just ask you guys would you be willing like if you were at a con or in a store or whatever and you saw this amazing console or controller that was like painted after one of your favorite video games would you consider buying it if you were like, holy fuck, I have to have this as like a showpiece. Um, I would rather oh. buy it if it was like sexy Sonic eating a chili dog. Mm-hmm. Like if it was if it was some weird, weird shit, you know? Yeah. So you're saying like memes is what you want to see. Yeah. Just like <laughs> solidified memes. <laughs> what if I <laughs> what if I recreated that amazing Mario paint uh, fan art of Mario and Vin Diesel sharing a plate of spaghetti? <laughs> oh God! Ooh. But it was on a console. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's got to be on an NES because you got that gives you enough. Uh, that gives you enough like 
canvas to yeah. actually really show it off. <laughs> and Hutch, what if we made the hot sauce? <laughs> oh gosh! Onto something for you, like a controller you, oh, or yeah. something. <laughs> you, you know what? A hot sauce in space. You sold me. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Well. I don't really have anything else to add to that, so what if, this segment may be over in case you guys have something. Oh, no, I have an idea. I'm going to okay. yes and this. I think okay. you could go on, like, look at uh, some data around, like, common names mm-hmm. and then airbrush <laughs> common name oh. the hedgehog <clears throat> on some oh my God. genocide. Like a fucking like cup in a souvenir shop. <laughs> yes, yes, but it's Steve the Hedgehog. What if I? What if artwork is amazing, but the concept is trash? <laughs> I love that though. I think there are a few things um, as wonderful as someone who is highly talented aiming their creative skills at something completely bullshit. <laughs> I am down. I feel more inspired than ever before. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I think yep. you should right. do it. Yeah, so I think I will. When are you going to rent your own storage unit so you can do this? <laughs> Tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, get ready for our garage stream from a storage unit so uh, yeah. Brittany can put like garage dream paint. dot business. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to get business cards made up. <laughs> 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 Storage unit garage custom mods right here. I want like a really expensive business card though where like you have to pull like a little it's like an origami where you have to like pull a lever and the garage door slides up. Oh, okay. And then it has your card or your information underneath it. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Can I? Can it cost me fifty dollars to produce five cards? <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a spicy meatball. All right. Well, I feel like tequila is hitting me pretty good right now. So hell yeah, let's get weird. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye. See you. Smash like and subscribe. <laughs>